In this video, we're gonna cover three things. The first is thinning in the front and here in the temples, how to cover that up and what hairstyles are gonna work well for that. The second thing we're gonna cover is if you've got a bald spot back here and you wanna cover that up with hairstyles or just other cover-up tips, how to do that. And then the third thing is what are you gonna do if what you're gonna do if you have all over thinning here, through here, how best to cover that up. So we're gonna talk about hairstyles and techniques. I'll add some timestamps down below in the description box if you just wanna go ahead and jump ahead to the different techniques that I'm gonna be covering. But let's just start straight off with trying to deal with receding temples or hair loss in the temples or in the front, how you can deal with that. Mine is actually growing in really well. As you guys may or may not know from following my channel, I use Rogaine and Minoxidil and I started to use it in my temples and just around here in the front, although because in the past I was sort of more concentrating back here and it's working really well. I have a really nice lock of growth here you can see that is some new growth that's coming in, but I still have my thinner areas definitely. So I'm just going to um, show you guys what I would do. This is all stuff that's inexpensive, stuff you might have lying around the house already. You don't have to go buy anything in particular, although you can if you want. But what I'm gonna be using is just plain old eyeliner. I've got this eyeliner, it's a Wet n Wild eyeliner. It cost maybe a dollar, you can get this from probably any drugstore, uh, inexpensive stuff, maybe even when you have lying around that you don't use. This never worked for my eyes. It's way too smudgy and the formula is not great. Tati loves wet and wild products and I just can't, they just don't, they never work for me. Um, so I've just switched this now to using it in my hair. What you can do is you can just, let's say this is the area you're trying to deal with here and you just wanna fill it in a bit. Don't be afraid, just go ahead and color this in like you would be doing as if you were doing eyebrows or anything like that. I don't know if you can see, I'm just doing some light strokes. Let's just see, say that this is an area I was trying to cover. You don't have to be too, too precise about it. I mean, you certainly can, uh, but you'll see what we're gonna do. So it will be like strokes and it's not gonna look great at this point, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a spoolie, same as the kind you use for your eyebrows. And what I would say about using a spoolie is just grab one from Sephora like next time you're trying a product and you have like an extra spoolie, say you're trying an eyebrow product out, you can throw this out or you can keep it. That's what I do. I keep these so that I have a good supply for using in my hairline uh, and they work really great. So what you'll do is you'll just, you're gonna smudge that just as if you were using, uh, just as if you were using it in your eyebrows really. And you're gonna see that it actually makes it quite a bit darker. So it does need a bit of work to get that in there, but it works really, really well. That is one way to cover up thinning temples here, or even you can use it in the front if you had that kind of an issue. Let's just say you wanted to fill that in, you would just do the same thing and just make sure to smudge it out with your spoolie after. Same idea as doing your eyebrows really, not too much difference. What I'm gonna do now is show you this side an even faster way to cover up sort of balding patches or thinning patches here. And you'll see a lot of other YouTubers do this technique as well because it's just so quick and easy. Just, you wanna just grab an eyeshadow that matches pretty closely your hair color. If you have really dark hair like I do, my hair's almost black, I would suggest using something that's sort of like a squirrely gray color, like a darker gray, like almost black gray, rather than black itself, because sometimes black has a bit of a blue undertone, which won't look super nice. Uh, but I find if you use the dark grays, they seem to catch the light really nicely and they tend to be a bit more naturalistic looking. So what I do in this case is I just go right in there. I go right in there with an eyeshadow brush and then I just, and I know, you probably thought of this yourself, but this is so fast. I mean, I don't know if you can see well, I'll try and pull in a bit, but it is so fast to cover up an area here. So that's if your temples are not thinning too, too much and you still wanna wear one of these hairstyles where, you know, your temples are showing, like say you have your hair pulled back a bit like the way I do right now, but I would honestly suggest foregoing this all together and seriously think about just wearing a hairstyle that's a little more flattering for receding hairline. This is not it. This is not a hairstyle that's gonna be receding, sorry, flattering for a receding hairline. If you're finding you're really thin in the temples and in the hairline here, pretty much the worst thing is a ponytail, right? Because it's gonna pull, and especially if you have sort of little clumps of hair that almost never looks good because what's gonna happen is you're gonna have these little clumps and through each clump, you're gonna see your scalp, which is sort of not the look that you want. If you're really dead set on a ponytail, then at least make sure that when you are doing your ponytail, you're using a fine tooth comb. 
to, to spread out that hair so that it doesn't have those weird little, you know, like when you wear a ponytail, it has those little striations and those little clump formations. So you wanna make sure that you are just combing it through and it will show less scalp if you do it that way. Okay, but what I would recommend though is that you just don't wear your hair like this, right? We gotta work with what we've got. So my hair today is just freshly washed. I just wanted to make sure that I was working on a sort of even playing field with what most of us would have. So this is clean hair, a tiny bit damp. Um, what I would suggest though is that if you're trying to cover this up or cover this up that you kind of start to think about how you can pull your hair down a bit more in the front. And I know because I've certainly had to deal with this myself, a curtain bang. So do we know what a curtain bang is, right? That's when your hair is sort of parted more. Forgive me, it's not the easiest to do this on camera. But a curtain bag is sort of more parted in the center, right? And off like this, then you're not gonna have to worry about your temples showing quite so much. Or maybe like another part where your hair kind of comes down across your forehead a bit. Like there are ways to disguise it. Sometimes you've gotta just sort of figure out how best, right? So if you did it like this, then this would be showing. So you'd wanna just sort of pull this down and, uh, and maybe work it that way. My hair is sort of messy, I, I do apologize. Let me comb it now. When you are combing, just remember a tip that I like to share always is start from the very back and kind of go from the mids then up. If you do that, you'll save yourself a lot of breakage, which is something we hair loss gals are always worried about. We always wanna reduce our breakage. So I basically brush my hair backwards and I know this looks kind of loopy, but this is the way I do it because I don't want to break off strands up where my uh, part is and just up at the top of my head. Another tip, and this goes for everyone, is to use a bit of hairspray in your hair after you've washed it. Uh, the reason for this is it gives it that tiny little bit of sort of tackiness and thickness that will help you style your hair because when your hair is freshly washed, it tends to be very soft and it doesn't really want to hold styles. Uh, shortcut is dry shampoo. I don't love dry shampoo though. I just stick with just plain old hairspray. I love this L'Oreal Paris Elnet Satin. I find it's the least sticky, it's the easiest to work with, and I love an unscented hairspray because I do not want to wear a scented hairspray. You just get this plume in the air and it just is really smelly, it's not for me. I love this product, uh, not sponsored, <laughs> I've just been using it for years. A hairstylist recommended it to me and I just have not found one that I like better. So I'm just gonna mist my hair just so I can show you guys some more stuff. And when you're using hairspray, go from underneath, right? In general, if you're dealing with hair loss, my suggestion is work from underneath your hair as much as you can. For the reasons I just discussed, avoiding breakage, avoiding pulling at the tops and stuff like that. Um, yeah, a bit of hairspray goes a long way in just really fluffing things up and being able to style your hair more easily. If you're trying to cover up a bald spot, then whew, let me tell you, I have been there, done that, and it was a lot trickier when my hair was shorter. So when I couldn't do any kind of ponytails, I just didn't have the length for that. That was the most difficult phase. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about like getting a short bob and you have a bald spot. I will just say when your hair's a bit longer, you have definitely a lot more styles that you can play with and ways to cover it up. Um, if you have one that's sort of in the back here, which is where mine is, I'm gonna have a look now. It's really filled in really nicely. I don't think that you're gonna see too much, but let me tell you, this is my issue that I was grappling with now for ages. Uh, as I said before, Rogaine and Minoxidil have really helped to fill it in, along with other stuff. I make a lot of this kind of content, so if you're struggling with hair loss, I hope you will subscribe. I uh, only make really uh, hopefully helpful videos here and I don't try and like get into any scammy products or sell you anything like that. Just straightforward advice from my perspective and the sort of few years now that I've been in the hair loss community, what works, what sort of doesn't work, how to be realistic about what's gonna happen going forward, different treatments. And also remember to give this video a like if you're finding it helpful. But as I was saying, if you've got that bald spot, you wanna cover it and you're in luck because it is one of the easier situations out of all the ones I've had to deal with because I have dealt with this thinning area here, the thinning temples in the front. I have dealt with the all over sort of diffuse loss here and a thinning part. The bald spot is actually oddly the easiest in a way to fix. You've heard me talk about just using hair fibers to cover up that bald spot or using um, L'Oreal's Magic Root Cover Up. I talk about this a lot on my channel so I'm not gonna belabor those. But what I would say just if you're not wanting to use those products or really you're just, it's really getting you down is figure out a way to wear like a half ponytail or even a ponytail. Those are gonna be really honestly just your easiest looks. 
Um, I like to use these little, don't use a big elastic like for thick hair if you don't have thick hair, which you possibly do not if you're struggling with a bald spot. Use these little, little elastics. They're meant to be for like tiny braids and stuff like that, but you can certainly use them on a sort of baby ponytail. And what I mean a baby ponytail is like one of those half up kind of ponytails. So as soon as my hair got long enough, what I did was I just started wearing a sort of half up style and I felt that that actually just completely, like the hair was completely over my thinning spot. So just a real simple twist. You can wear this kind of casual like and you'll probably need two of these. This is just the easiest. I don't feel like I'm really teaching you something you don't know here. Maybe just a reminder, but if you have this little mini ponytail covering your bald spot, then you're not gonna be worried about it or thinking about it. None of these are necessarily long-term solutions. These are just cover-ups. Like I, strong, I, I always say, I strongly suggest you see your doctor, figure out what's causing your hair loss. It could be something really simple and you will be kicking yourself down the line for just not having gone to your doctor and gotten a simple blood test that maybe could have got to the bottom of it to help address it. Because the sooner you get on top of hair loss, I promise you the easier it is. You don't wanna wait till the situation is, is quite dire. You don't wanna wait Till then, I hear from lots of people on my Instagram account where you're welcome to drop me a note and connect with me there. I try and get to all the questions, but you don't wanna be like one of the women who contact me and say that they've been thinking about it for years and they never did anything about it. Like you wanna get on this when you start noticing hair loss. It's much easier that way. So yeah, sweet little, sweet little half up do like this and then, you know, you don't have to worry about your bald spot. That's my number one super duper easy tip. If you're finding your, your little, top knot, your tiny mini bun here is just too skinny and too anemic looking, then what you can always just do is add some helper hair as I like to call it. This is just um, a weft, I think they call this, from some hair extensions that I made in the past. And what you can do is just, you can add this to your ponytail. It's just woven, I don't know if you can see, but you're not gonna be showing anybody the, that part. You're just gonna fold it. I'm just folding it up a bit and you can just stick it up here, right? And just start to twist this around if you want this to look thicker. It's just so simple, like these are all simple things. None of these products are expensive. Um, I think all this hair, I can't remember the price, but I feel like you could get it for maybe $30 for a whole bunch. I mean, enough to make a lot of extensions, not just this tiny bit of hair. Uh, and then you just wanna go over this tiny little bun with another elastic. That's why it's good to have these little skinny ones. They're quite good. You know, if that's not, if you don't feel like that, so that made it thicker, as you can see, and if you're feeling like that's not gonna hold that well, just grab some bobby pins and stick that in there as well. Like, So I'm just gonna secure this, like say you're going for a jog or something like this. And I do apologize, as you can see here, like everything's a little rough and ready because I'm not a hairstylist. I am just someone who's just dealt with a whole lot of hair loss in her life or at least the last few years of my life. Okay, so I've got some bobby pins in there to secure it and it's gonna stay, it is gonna stay. So that's what I would do if I'm trying to cover a bald spot. You make, wanna make sure that uh, nothing's too tight here. You don't wanna yank out any extra hair because we're trying to keep all our precious, precious hairs. That's how I do it for a spot that's back here or here, right? Half ponytail is the way to go. Okay, my hair is getting progressively wilder and wilder as this video <laughs> goes on. But another thing I wanted to show you, if you're also just trying to deal with a bald spot, let's just say it's right here as it is for me. What you wanna do maybe then is just rethink where your part is. If your hair is long enough, go all the way over this way. That way you're combing your hair over. I realize this sounds like a comb over and it is, but who cares? Again, you wanna use a fine tooth comb. And I say again, because I talked about this in my first point, it's really good to use these because they break up those lumps that are in your hair that make your, that when they cling together, you can see through to your scalp. So using a fine tooth comb really helps to break them up and give a more diffuse look to the hair. But yeah, you wanna just, and this is an easy hairstyle too. You just wanna kinda comb over that area here and you wanna do ponytail. You just wanna do a simple ponytail here. You're gonna secure it right here and voila, you just do a little simple side ponytail. If you wanna do a low bun or something like that, that'll work too. And once again, you can add your hair. You can just add this little simple stretch of hair, which is what I'm gonna show you now. 
yeah, I like to just fold it up because I'm lazy. I'm sure I could stitch it, but I just don't care. So <laughs> you just kind of do this and these, like I said, these little baby elastics are like your best friend. You just want to go in there, pull this through. And uh, yeah, you just start uh, working on something that's gonna like approximate maybe like a little bun, whatever it is you wanna do. Another super cute style. It's good for hot days. It's a really hot day here. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this second elastic over the whole little kitten caboodle and that'll be that. Okay, so that's like messy looking. So we'd wanna fix that a little bit. Uh, yeah but at least it looks nice and thick. Right, so there we go, perfectly adequate. I mean, are we gonna be mistaking this for an updo for the red carpet? No, we're not, but that took me all of like three minutes to do all together and uh, it has a nice sort of thick look. And also my bald spot is completely concealed now because I have hair all of hair all over it. So yeah, so that was tips for bald spots. Now let's move on to all over thinning hair and uh, how to cover that up. If you have all over thinning hair or what they also call diffuse hair loss, meaning you can see a lot of your scalp through this part of your hair, I'm gonna give it to you really straight here. There's no sense in sort of, you know, covering it up. That is the hardest thing to cover up in my experience because I've been there as well. Like when your part is very thin and you can really see through down into your scalp area, um, if you can sort of see your fingers really well through your hair, for example, that's when it gets a little harder. You're gonna have probably limited success, but I'm gonna show you some hairstyles that hopefully could help. Really, I would strongly suggest that you use Topic or you use some sort of, or any other hair fiber, it doesn't have to be this one, or some sort of root cover-up spray to really help. And I also find that women with diffuse hair loss are the happiest when they use toppers. So if you don't know what a topper is, that's just helper hair. It's not a full wig. It is just almost like a half wig that just covers up sort of the really thinning areas. And sometimes this part will be here, but then there's also ones with bangs. I'll be making a video about that hopefully really soon as well. So another reason to stay tuned and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If your hair, if, you ha if you're just like always parting your hair, of course, you know, if you've been watching my channel, I always say shake up that part. You don't wanna be wearing the same part for like a decade, of course you're gonna have like breakage in that area. So try and switch that part, but also maybe consider not wearing such a straight part. What you can do is just, you know, you have your hair all styled and combed, but just take your fingers here and just, you'll wanna break that up. So you'll just wanna even just reach in from behind and break up that area here. And you can see already that you can't really see my scalp when I do that, so you know, you can pull some hair from over here too. And it's not enough just to do that. You really do have to hit it pretty aggressively with hairspray if you want it to stay. Uh, a mistake that women make when they have a lot of diffuse hair here is that they don't, they're just so fixated on their scalp. They forget that this part of the hair really needs to look good, nice and full as well. You can't really wash and go, like if you want your hair to look amazing. Almost everyone wants to be like zero effort and to have amazing looking hair and that's a reality for very few people out there. So it's okay to be effortful. It's okay to spend time to make your hair look better. Try and do something to make this part of the hair look shiny, sleek, healthy, wavy, whatever it is your style is that you're going for. But I would just say spend a little more time fixing this hair. Don't get just all fixated on this. Of course, try to break this up because that will help add volume and obscure what's going on here. This is really visible. Once again, that's a reason to use spray. It's a reason to use topic or go ahead. If you really have, you don't want to buy those products or you just don't have them on hand right now, just grab, like I said, your dark eyeshadow. And if you can really see through there, just go ahead and put this stuff in there. Why not? This is eyeshadow, right? You just want to grab your eyeshadow and just cover it up. You'll find that it works on your eyelids, it's gonna work on your scalp really well too. So breaking up that part here is uh, one of my top tips for that. And also is really consider going for a really deep part. Those were more in style a little while ago than they are now, I'd say, I, I don't even know, it's been years. I'm gonna say four years, maybe it was more in style than it is now, but it's still really effective. You know, you don't have to part up here where your eyebrow is, you don't have to part in the middle. 
If you're finding that your hair is actually thicker here, then just go ahead and part it deeper. Do a deeper part, but what I would suggest is you'll have this kind of stuff going on here that looks too heavy. As you can see, I've created some nice volume here and covered a lot of what's going on in here. You'll want to hairspray that down and you also maybe want to consider putting in some waves here. Maybe just some gentle waves. You can use like a foam roller if you have one, just roll it up here. You know, you could even just bobby pin that here. In a while that should be a little bit of a wave or you can use a curling iron or even a flat iron. There's a technique to just turn it a little bit and uh, make this look, make the attention come here. That's what I'm trying to say. If you have some really cute waves or some sort of nice sort of look right here, then it takes away some of the um, emphasis on your scalp area. Those are all my tips for um, looking after your hair. If it's thinning here or if it's thinning back here and you've got this visible or if it's just thinning all over, there are always things you can do. So I just wanna reiterate, you know, let's say you don't wanna buy a topper you don't, you're not ready to see the doctor or use medication yet. We've all been in different places. No judgment here. I just wanted to show you some really fast, easy, affordable ways to style your hair if you're dealing with those circumstances. And uh, just a reminder that I make a lot of this kind of content. So if you're dealing with hair loss, I don't only just talk about Rogaine and Minoxidil. I made things about, I made like videos about how to make sure that your hair keeps growing soft and healthy and long. And I've made another video about like hair loss mistakes that all women have made their first year of discovering they have had hair loss. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. I hope this is helpful and we'll see you soon.